We'll use this buttonhole stitch as an example. Use the buttonhole presser foot E for this stitch. Turn off the power switch before replacing the presser foot. Set the button. Pull the button holder. Place the button on the button holder and then push the holder to set the buttonhole length. This step sets a suitable buttonhole size. After setting the presser foot, check that there is a clearance. Set the buttonhole sensor pin. Insert the pin into the hole completely. Turn on the power switch. Select this stitch pattern. Raise the presser foot. Pass the needle thread through the hole on the presser foot and pull it out sideways. Place the fabric under the presser foot. Align the marking with the sewing start point. Penetrate the needle into the fabric by turning the hand wheel and lower the presser foot. Start sewing. The machine will stop automatically after sewing the buttonhole. Unplug the sensor pin after sewing. Open the buttonhole using a ripper. Pierce a stopper pin at the bar tack and open the buttonhole with a ripper. Be careful not to cut the stitches. It will be easier to sew buttonholes on the thin fabrics and or near the overlapped sections if the clamping plate is used. Turn off the power when setting the clamping plate. Attach the buttonhole presser foot to the presser foot holder with the clamping plate together. Place the fabric between the presser foot and the clamping plate. You can remove the clamping plate by holding here.